Hi everybody, hello, happy Valentine's Day. Um, not much has altered in our house. We tend not to celebrate things like that. Well, celebrate very much really at all. Um, but we're, we're well, we're doing all right. And I hope you're having a really nice Valentine's Day if that's what you like. Um, it's quite an exciting day today because it's the start of a new project. Although it's very similar to the last project, it's so similar, in fact, it's ostensibly the same, just differently decorated. Um, we're doing two again, side by side. Uh, I'm doing Edith and a wee beasties one. <laughs> it's a car, I don't know. I, I said this when I did Mr. Green. I'm really unsure of what grunge is. I don't think it is a specific thing. Have I frozen? My hand's frozen. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. I think I have frozen. Never mind, we'll let Mr. F do his magic. Don't know why that would be. Maybe it doesn't like Valentine's Day. There we are, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. No idea why that should be. Just sometimes it likes to have the upper hand. Um, right, as I was saying, we're starting two new projects today, but they are the same folio that we did last time. I really like doing them. I think that I think they turned out nicely, uh, and the, they're easy to make, and they're our own design. I mean, I'm sure somebody's come up with something similar, but you know, this is our design, so uh, we'll carry on with it. This one is going to be Edith. And I've put my framers tape on and I've stamped over it with a, we well can see it, it's a flower stamp. So I've stamped over all the framers tape uh, with that flower, as I thought it was kind of Edithy. Uh, I, I mean, it turns out that you see very little of it in the end, but it's there, it's done, and it makes it into sort of more a masking tape, I guess, than, than anything. And I've put my um, magnet on for the front. And that's all I've done with that. And I've cut my two flaps out. I've cut them shorter this time. I can't remember what I cut them at now. Um, three inches. Last time they were four and they were just a bit too um, butting up against each other. So I've cut them at three, so we'll have an inch gap. The other thing that I've changed is this spine on here. It was half an inch last time and I made it three eighths of an inch this time, which I think will suit our purposes better. I will be using this um, CD. I've shown it to you loads of times. It's a Joanna Sheen, the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. It's just full of beautiful images. And, you know, if you can get your hands on it, do so. There are two different CDs. There's a Joanna Sheen one. I think there's a Crafters, I think it's Crafters Companion. Don't bother with that. It hasn't got that much in it that's really uh, exciting. But the Joanna Sheen one really has. And that little video that I did the other day uh, about using, um, and I was enlarging butterflies, but I also went on to show you how to use the files that's in, in this uh, CD. ROM. Shows you how old it is, doesn't it? CD-ROM. So I will be using images from, from that. I'll also be using text from the book because there's no text in here. It's just all images. So I'll, I'll be using the book as well, but I'll keep that mainly for the videos that I put out in the week and we'll work away at this uh, during the lives. Right. Same exactly the same. They're identical. Apart from this one, I used Versafine Onyx Black um, and a little text stamp to go around it, which I thought I, I quite like. It's quite sort of grungified. Um, yeah, the, the thing is <laughs> that this is going to be a grunge meets boho. Okay. I, Yesterday evening, I was I didn't feel really very well and I was extremely tired. And for some strange reason, I said to Mr. F that we're going to do grunge and boho. So he was all ready today to do grunge and boho. And it turns out I meant grunge and boho in one thing. <laughs> so um, 
yeah, that's what we're going to do. I don't know how it's going to turn up, turn out. It's like, um, what do they call it when they do that cooking and the, the mix different cultures? Um, what's it called? Fusion. Fusion. Yes, it's a fusion. That's what it is. It's a boho grunge fusion. So that's that. I've just put the um, magnets on there to keep that shut and we're, we're ready to go. I've sorted my lace out. Look at that. How sorted do you want to be with your lace? <laughs> I'm impressed with myself, actually. And I've uh, fussy cut all these, well, wee beasties, except they're huge. Look at them. Carrie loves the name. The wee beasties? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. F came up with that one. It's a good one, isn't it? Um, yeah, so these are out of my illustrated book of insects. This is my favourite one here. Hang on a minute. That one, praying mantis. I mean, look at it. It's enormous. Uh, and some I've cut out that are on leaves and things because I just think it's, uh, it's just a bit different and I like them better. Uh, so that took me quite a while last night because insect legs and antenna and all sorts of things are very thin. Um, but I stuck with it. I mean, look at that one. Look at this. I mean, that's just being greedy having one that size. Uh, so um, I intend to use those splattered about the uh, the thing. I have got this, which I bought. I used to go to those exhibitions, you know, sort of paper crafting and whatever exhibitions. I used to have them in the NEC in Birmingham and uh, Glasgow and whatever. And I used to go and just watch the demonstrations and see what they had that was different. And I bought this there. It's, it's a silk scarf, I think. But look at the colours on it. They're fabulous. Really, really lovely. I love them. And Mr F has kindly ironed that for me this morning. So I'm going to fold it up again. Because it was a crumpled mess. And I've looked some other stuff out um, that I thought might be interesting along the way. Uh, I've got this, which I might have used. Look at the glare on that. I mean, that is copper and it's shiny. But it's that lame fabric. Uh, this is sari. Um, I like that. It frays like the very devil. Um, more lame, but turquoise. Can you see a theme occurring here? Uh, this coppery coloured sort of boucle type thing. Uh, black lace. Let's see that. Which I buy by the meter from eBay and it's quite cheap. Uh, this, I don't know, just found its way to here. And I think that's some more of that copper lame. So, yeah, all of these things I've picked up at exhibitions where you see people selling things that you don't normally see. So when you see them, you grab them. Uh, so I've got quite a lot of things like that. Uh, the other things I'm going to be using, of course, are um, coffee stained papers which I have here. This is just uh, out of um, a, a booklet. It's got perforation line there, but I wanted this part in particular because I like the, I just like the sort of raggedness of it. Uh, book pages, just ordinary book pages, not my ordinary book. Reverse, en reverse engineering the psyche. Mm. Uh, coffee stain paper. And that's just graph paper, coffee stained as well. Um, I haven't coffee stained my music paper or... No, that's all, my music paper. Because uh, it, it's dark anyway and it's so fragile. I think if you put coffee stain on it, it would just disintegrate, to be honest with you. Uh, the other thing that I'll be using is music paper as I've just said and this uh, Pears Encyclopedia 1963 to 64 because it's just got interesting things in it interesting general compendium yeah literary companion Nobel Prize winners oh it's just it's just interesting isn't it so I wondered if we looked up something like insect what it would tell us I don't know 
is, is it all? I don't know. Functions of kidneys. Oh, blimey. Anyway, I'm going to be using some of that. So that's that. Thank you. Uh, and the book, the paper itself is going to be this one that we looked at a while ago. Um, it's the Craft Consortium. Yeah, Craft Consortium Metal Textures. Um, it doesn't say what. Oh, 180. That's what it is. So it's quite thick but not unworkable um, and it's got some gorgeous ones I mean look at that that's kind of what that's what I really like um, and if I get stuck with that then I've got the big heirloom pack that we bought as well because uh, that's got some really uh, good stuff that would fit in with what we're doing Right, so that's you up to speed of what I've got, what I'm doing, what I think I'm doing. <laughs> I'll just put those away so they don't. Oh, I've also got some copper paint out. I don't know if I want to use stencils or whatever, but I've got it out anyway. So there we are. So what I'm going to do is start with the, the back, which is where we started the last time. And just, I want to put a pocket in here like we did last time, except this time... I want it to be that way. I think that would be better for a back. Uh, not quite. When you put it the other way, the tag wants to catch on everything, which is not uh, not good. So I'm going to use this paper. And I think you get about three sheets. Um, doesn't tell you, but I think you get three sheets of the same stuff. So. I'm just going to cut a bit out of here. Now, I don't need it to go all the way to the back. If, if my pocket's here, I just need a piece that big. And then for the pocket, I need a piece that big sort of thing. You'll see what I mean when I do it, hopefully. So I'd like it to be um, eight and a half. I just want an eighth around this. If I make it a quarter, that would be eight and a quarter. Let me just check that my framers tape is definitely more than a quarter of an inch in everywhere. Might be a bit tight there. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, so we can bring it in a quarter of an inch. So it measures. Uh, six and one eighth and that's that's right that's what it should measure um, and I want it it measures in its entirety eight and three quarters so if I bring it in a quarter each thing that should be eight and a quarter I want my paper cut up I reckon that's right so I'll get my big <laughs> my big one out eight and a quarter Seems a long way away that other that top edge, but I think I think that's right. No, maybe not quite straight there. Right, okay. Cut that then. Okay, so we're going to be left with some really good scraps, which aren't going to be scraps. So that's my height there. Oh, that paper is so gorgeous. And I quite like this side here. I like that design better. So I'd like it to come more than halfway across. So I'd like it to be about four inches, let's say. I should be good at four inches. And the ink that I'm using for this project is Black Suit. I've never used that before for a project. In fact, I didn't have any. I had to buy it. Um, so it's, you know, it's new for me. 
I never usually do anything this dark. And I certainly won't be using black soup for Edith. I can tell you that. I usually use bundled sage for Edith. But I think I might just use vintage photo. I don't know. See how I get on when, I, when I've actually got it in my hands. Right, so that's going to go there. And then we want a piece to come from there to about there. So what does that measure? It measures four and a quarter. And which end do I like best of this? Maybe that one's more of a of an edge. Let's see. Okay, so four, four and a quarter. So we're off and running with the wee beasties. We've started. Right, let's have a look at that. With this being 180, you don't need to fold it over. It's strong enough on it on its own. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. And we will have a pocket down here. You know, whether, you, whether we decide to put lace on it or what, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, and does I don't think it needs a lot of decorating because I want to decorate I want to put something here you know build something up here and it will have a tag going in it just a single journaling card that's all so let's ink <laughs> let's ink so I've got my black suit distress ink I pushed the bolt out and bought a mini because I can't see me using it too much but if you're going to use it, use it, I say. So I want a nice thick band of black around it. I don't want just a hint. <laughs> I don't know if any of you want to particularly follow along with this. I, I don't know whose cup of tea this would be exactly. I don't know if you've um, been on the have you been on the group recently, the Miss Paint a Lots Junk Journal group. Have you seen the video that Sheila Styles put up? It is phenomenal. Um it's a it's a grunge, definitely sort of uh goth type grunge uh journal that she's made and it's staggering. It's absolutely staggering. Take my hat off to you, Sheila. It's really lovely. Right, so that needs to get stuck onto there. We're definitely the right way up. That's the front. Yep, yeah, okay. So let's just open this up so we've got a flat place to glue. Okay. Um, I don't want to round the corners off. I don't think. Do I? Mm, no. That was me really thinking there. I'm going to use Collal because it's a large area and I've got my PVA in a small bottle. So it drives me bonkers. And Collal I know works. Where the PVA is still under review. I've put the two folios that are finished yesterday in a box and I'm leaving them here in this room because it's quite warm. Uh, and I'll have a look at them in a week or so and see if everything's still stuck. And if it is, I'll put them back in the box and have a look in another week or so and just make sure everything's still stuck down before I pass absolute comment on the PVA situation. Yeah, I'll just wipe that in my trousers. Right, so I'm going to be in quarter of an inch, up quarter of an inch, down quarter of an inch. Yeah, I think that's a bit right. Where's my cloth? I don't know. I've got a new one. That's the other thing about Collol. It's... Uh, it really wipes off very nicely. Let's just check that we're about straight. Maybe we could do with coming down a wee touch. 
Okay. So I'm just caressing it. <laughs> just got the thing about caressing paper, it's just lovely. I think I was reading before we came on that we're all going to Benitez for muffins. Which sounds pretty good to me. So if you see an empty chair here, no face. I'm at Benitez enjoying muffins. How lovely would that be? That would be so nice. So this piece is going to go over the other one. I'm going to ink, ink it up. And that's going to go there and that's going to be our pocket. So I'll stick that on because there's nothing going to stop us um, decorating it once it's on the page. It's still flat. Everything's flat. So back again with my th thick border of Distress ink. And this is a, the back, so we... For all we want to decorate it, we don't want it too um, too many things that might get caught. You know, if I was doing a journal, I'd always leave the back blank for that reason. So really, the same rules kind of got to apply with a folio, except I want to decorate it. So is it roll call then? Would you like a roll call? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, special mention to Junk Journal Market, Laurie B. Hello, Laurie B. Who's joining us for the first time. Oh, nice to have you along. Uh, and then we have some regulars. Okay. Roz. Hi, Roz. Jean. Hello, Jean. Terry. Hi, Terry. Benice. Hello, Benice. Violet. Hi, Violet. Carol. Carol. Vaughan. Oh, hello, Carol. Nice to have you back. Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Hello. Hello, Flo. Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Jen. Hi, Jen. Mike. Hi, Mike. Kathleen. Hi, Kathy. Linda. Hi, Linda. Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Karen. Ha Karen? Sharon. Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Susan. Hi, Susan. Janya. Hi, Janya. Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Connie. Hello, Connie. Dixie. Hi, Dixie. Uh, did I mention Shaz? No. Shaz. <laughs> oh, Shaz, welcome uh, back. Jan. Hi, Jan. Uh, Julie. It. Hello, Julie. If I missed you, you'll have to shout out. Just watching your video, Julie, before I came on, but I couldn't get it all watched, so I watched the rest of it when I uh, when I finished blathering on. Right, so that wants to go there over the one that we've just put down quarter of an inch in blah blah but it's going to be a pocket so we don't want to stick it all down because that's uh that would just be daft so we just want to go around those three edges um I'm, i think i might use double-sided actually because this is going to be quite a tight pocket because we haven't put gussets in it um so yeah, I want to give it all the help I can, really. So where are you hanging out at? I can see it over there. Right. So that's where it's going on. So I don't want it on that side. Dixie would like to know how your arm's doing today. It's not so bad at all, actually. Thank you, Dixie. It's really nice of you to ask. Um, I, I did... It. Yesterday evening begin to feel quite unwell really, um, but I'm all right today. I'm all fixed, thank you. I think she was asking how your shot arm was. But there was a bit of a typo. What did it say? I'm not saying. Okay. <laughs> you could probably work it out. Well, all my arms, all two of them, are fine. Thank you. Um, and, and I don't feel sick anymore or anything like that. I'm all right. So we're doing okay. Sorry if yesterday's live was a bit unlive. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just wasn't feeling great. I might put PVA on top of this, actually. 
in fact that is what I am going to do right so there we go those are the edges let's just double check yeah I want that dark one over there excellent so just burnish those down have I shown you my box of boho type fabrics I think I have actually in which case I won't show you again because I've been out through it this morning looking for stuff for this project I've actually got more of that sort of stuff than I have to go with Edith to be honest with you um, I'm gonna have to have a good hunt around and see what I can find for Edith so this is just straight up PVA it's the sort the of kids use at school and I'm giving it a trial because it is so, so much cheaper. What were the stats that you worked out again, Mr. F? For what? The PVA compared to Aileen's. Uh, Aileen's is £4.50 for four fluid ounces. Yeah. The PVA from Screwfix is 23p for four fluid ounces. Well, I mean, that's just so much of a difference. You've got to be a chump not to try it, haven't you, really? So I'm trying it because I think there's a lot of we use it, but we don't really know why we use it. We use it because we've seen somebody, you know, like Gail or somebody really experienced using these very expensive glues. And we think, oh, yeah, that's that's what I've got to do. I've got to use that. That's what people do. Well, why? Why do they do it? They probably do it because they saw somebody else do it when they were setting out so i'm i'm just gonna give the pva a try i might fall flat on my face if i do i'll let you know that'd be your macaroni face that's my macaroni face yes right okay so we have a pocket i'm not going to put it to the test yet although i'm sure it'd be fine because it's got double-sided on it so we want to build something up on here where do I begin <laughs> well I want a wee beastie on it that much I do know so which wee beastie shall I have you're going to get sick of looking at these I'll just warn you now because we're going to be going through them and going through them no not him oh he's fantastic Mm -hmm. not my praying mantis I'm saving him for the front uh, this one is an interesting little one he's only little but he's he's interesting colours uh, that one ooh, he's a bit big he'd have to go like that but that's alright I didn't want him straight anyway I still like that one better uh, that one Nope. No. No. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe. Possibility. No. And that one. So it's either that one, A, or B. <laughs> I like that. I like that one. I just think it's it's nice to have on the outside so we need to kind of build up behind it really without detracting from that so that's going to be uh, quite interesting I've got this book page let's let's get the uh, decal edge scissors out This side's darker, so I'm going to go with the darker side. I'm just going to cut that margin off. I mean, I'm going to keep that because it might come in for something. So it's a really nice colour. Uh, and cut the margin off down the bottom as well. Even if I just stamped on it, I think um, it, it would be quite nice. Right, so I want a piece that's about there. Oh, 
mean, that's it just looks lovely. Just looks lovely like that. Let's just leave that. Stick that down. Call the day. No. Okay. Um, well, what else have I got? I've got ordinary coffee stained graph paper. I've got all the things I showed you. I've got the Pears Encyclopedia. Or music paper. That's a good question. Where's the music? Oh, oh did you? Oh, thanks. Oh, Mr. F has marked the page in the encyclopedia that's about insects oh i see because once again if you watched sheila's video you'd see that she used um pertinent words out of it i think it was a dictionary but i like the idea so much sheila that i'm i'm nicking it i, I absolutely am so these are all about different insects diseases of plants in fact Wow. Garden pests. Garden pests. Okay, so well, I'm just, oh, this is really kind of fragile, this um, book. It's not as old as I am, but it's it's getting up there. Aphids. Do you think that's an aphid? No, it's a wasp. Oh, okay. Uh, cabbage root fly. I could put any of these on. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I could put that big chunk that says garden pests. Let's do that. That was such a good idea, Sheila. I mean, it was phenomenal. Um, right, so I've now got this bit that says garden pests. that I could just put there and I don't know does it need anything else and bearing in mind it's the back so I want it quite flat what's that at the same thank you um you know I could add something really really crazy let's just cut a bit of this out shall we <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself. I cannot, cannot help myself. This is ludicrous, but never mind. Who knows unless you try, eh? God, it's very unusual having sharp scissors. They won't stay sharp for long. So there's a nice bit of copper there, look. So what would happen if I put that there? Well, I don't know. I quite like it. Oh, I don't know. What about a bit of black lace? Hmm? How about that? Let's just chop a bit of this off. See what it looks like. Let's pick that up. Put that down there. Put that on top. I think that's better, but I will tell you, it has a thickness to it. It's not really thick or anything, but I don't know if it's too thick for there. This now, it's getting really interesting. It's making a nice um, sort of assemblage, but it's getting too thick for the back cover. So... The other thing is that I did want to put lace down there. So I'm going to have to have a look and see. This is this is how I work when you aren't watching me. <laughs> it's, shall I do this and shall I do that? I've got some quite thin black lace here. So let's have a look at that. This is lace from AliExpress. My good friend, Ali. Yeah, so I could put that on that edge there, but I would prefer to have it that way, with a straight edge on the straight edge of the pocket. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that, but I'm going to have to shunt that that way a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is 
Just move that on in totality to there and put my um put this on that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to do that with cosmic shimmer is it my pin stuck in no so i'm just going to do it right on the edge and i don't want any pearls or anything like that in this so we're all right And I don't want to go over onto the back of the pocket. That's not what I want. I'm going to start there and just kind of tension it. Don't pull it because you'll end up with a bold piece of paper. It's amazing. But you just want a little bit of tension on it. And go down there now the cosmic shimmer dries quickly but not instantly so you have got a little minute just to make sure everything is where you want it so i'm just going to cut that off there and then when it's dry, I can put, cut it off exactly where I want it. I think that's going to be all right. Looks like it's sort of going around the corner, but I think on the actual pocket, we're okay. Right, so we've made a start then. Whew, excellent. Right, okay. It's not square, that's straight. It's being awkward. Yeah, that's okay. All right. So let's bring this assemblage. Oh, let's put the pin in. Oh, I have. No, I haven't put the lid on my PVA. Let's bring this assemblage back. Calling it an assemblage because it's got bits of fabric in it as well. <laughs> so. I'm imbuing it with uh, grandeur. <laughs> okay, so that's that there. I quite like that. I don't see anything wrong with it. Maybe that needs to come that way a little bit. What's up, Mr. F? What don't you like? You can ink the paper here. Yeah. I just wondered about the uh, Pairs Encyclopedia paper. Is it a bit white? Well, I quite like it because then you can see it against that. That's and true. it will have a black edge. It'll be... As long as you're inking up. I'm inking. I'm inking. I've already inked the wee beastie things that I've cut out. Uh, let me just get a throat lozenger and a drink. Oh, look at this. We've had, it's, it's 37 minutes past the hour and I've done nothing. Yeah, Janier, I'm not a huge fan of bugs, but I just... Could you reach the book, please? Which the, book? The bug book. The bug book. The bug book. Mm. Buggy books. Yeah, I'm going to start inking up. Where is it? It's around me somewhere. Is it on the tree? Yeah. So I'm going in with this black. Yeah, here's the book that I've got. Illustrated Book of Insects. I might have shown it you before, sorry if I'm repeating myself. And it is just literally full of books. So there's plenty, there's plenty more to go at if I get carried away with my books. So that's a great book from the charity shop, of course. Or Mr. F special shops, which I choose to call them, which aren't open at the moment. Great loss to everyone. It's very, very sad. <laughs> it is making him really sad. He misses the. That's the one thing he misses. I think mo most of all in the lockdown is the charity shops aren't open. <laughs> it's the thrill of the hunt. 
I know, and you do find some excellent stuff. So that's going to go there fairly sort of straight. And let's ink up this uh, Pears Encyclopedia, which I'm going to have to be a bit more careful with because it's quite fragile. It's that lovely paper though, you know, dic like dictionary paper. I love it, I love the feel of it. I mean, if you don't want to use bugs, and I don't blame you, or you haven't got access to a bug book, once again, I can understand that, um, then make it something else. Make it about trees or flowers or anything. Anything at all. Right. I'm just wondering whether to put a stencil on that. I think I will, you know. I think I will. Here's my inky board. Uh, let's find a stencil. I'm going to put this rose one on. I know I use it for everything, but it just so happens it's always around. It's just going to add something else to the party. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I like that now actually. It's nice. It did very nicely with the black lace. Yeah, doesn't it? Are you more happy with it now? Oh. Delighted. Are you delighted? delighted. Yeah. I'm bit. so excited. <laughs> There's no need. There's no <laughs> There is no need for the sarcasm. Talking of sarcasm, last night, because there aren't very many programs being made at the moment that are, um, are new because of uh, obvious reasons. Um, so we've started to re-watch The Big Bang Theory. Um, and we started last night with the pilot and uh, episode one. And I don't know if you watch The Big Bang Theory. Um, I think this might be our third time around, actually. But we, we really, really love it. And... Uh, Last night, it, the, Leonard was trying to teach Sheldon what sarcasm is, but he wasn't really having a whole lot of joy. There's no need to teach Mr. Ref. He's really got the hang of it. <laughs> he uses it quite, quite well, I would say. So anyway, where were you off to yesterday, Janya? I'm very pleased you safely returned. And Carol, it's lovely to have you back with us. Thank you very much. Shaz, I'm hoping that Dottie has made it. I dare hardly ask you, to be honest. Right, so that's that, and I'm just going to pop that there. I think, I think stenciling, that was a um, good move. Well done, madam. Oh, you're welcome. I love this book page that's been coffee stained. It's such a lovely colour. It's a stronger mix than Mr F usually uses. I am informed. And I can see that because normally um, the coffee stained papers that he did, 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 that he does for me are quite light coloured. And this is nice and dark. That's what I was trying to say. Talking of coffee? Uh, no, thanks. Because you just made me one, just. I know. That was to rev you up. Oh, I'm revved. Look Get at you up to speed. I'm revved. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me revving around. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's behaving. Oh, shouldn't have said that's so loud. He's behaving himself today. Um, you missed it yesterday, Shaz. Honestly, I don't know what was wrong with him yesterday. He... He never eats biscuits. If you offer him biscuits, you know, sweet biscuits, I mean, human biscuits, he, he, he sniffs it and walks away. He doesn't like them. But yesterday, there happened to be a packet of custard creams hanging around, uh, around by where we sit. And they'd been there all night because we're very tidy people. <laughs> well, then again, not. And um, he decided suddenly he wanted to eat them and he... He got them off the settee. Mr. F took them off him. He got them off the settee again. So Mr. F put them on top of the coffee table. Um, 
And somehow we managed to get them. I don't know how he did it, to be honest with you, but he did. Right, I don't want this being quite as square as it is. So I don't think my decal edge scissors will cut it, will they? No, thought not. So I'm just going to hack into it in various places. Just, I just don't want it looking really square. I want it a more relaxed look. <laughs> relaxed fit. That's what I go for, anything in the shops that says relaxed fit. Yeah, that's what I want. I don't want those jeans. Do you remember when you were younger? Maybe it was just me. All that pushing and shoving and lying on your bed and trying to pull your zip, your jeans zip up. And then you, you got it off and you were so, you, you couldn't blink and move because it was so tight. But you thought you looked the bees and knees and that's all that mattered. Up a little bit, down a little bit. I have the same trouble trying to pull on my stretch pants these days. Uh, Mr F is not overweight in any way, shape or form. Just kind of annoying. Seeing as he eats pretty much the same as me. And I'm like a blimp. Shall I put that copper on there or not? This is the question. I quite like it because it's picking up this copper here. But the alternative is that I use copper paint and put a little copper stencil there and I think that's going to win out. That's what I think. Right, where's my um, sequin waste? I didn't know I was going to do all this or I would have been much more uh, organised. Can you see any sequin waste anywhere? Sequin waste? Yeah, I mean we've got rolls of the stuff. I didn't have any for years and then Suddenly I had loads. So bear with me, I'm looking for sequin waste. There it is. It's over in the stencil department, who'd have thought it? Uh, so I'm just going to do a, a tiny little bit. Um, I haven't really even got a palette. You couldn't just fetch me a, 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 yeah, a plate or something, anything. And some sort of thanks, my love. What 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 are you doing? Just oh, like that. I see. It might look a bit nice yeah. A dark and Did I take it? Uh, I didn't have a chance to find out. Oh, sorry. Uh, just a, a a palette of some sort and a little sponge type thing. Anything? My finger will probably do actually. Sorry about this. It's not the mo most professional production we've ever done, but this is just me um, thinking, thinking as I go along. So I want copper to play a part in in this because a lot of the papers have got this sort of patinaed uh, copper on them. So um, I'm going to go for the copper which is where the turquoise fabric came in as well, because right. that's just absolutely yeah, perfect. It was hard. Oh, that's just grand. Thank you very much. So I only need the tiniest bit. I don't want to go overboard like normal. Oh, that's probably way too much. So just a little bit. Dab it on and dab it off. It reminded Jean of Ross pulling on his leather pants. <laughs> yeah. with, with advice from Joey. Yeah, talc and powder. Oh my goodness. Well, baby lotion first. Yeah, and then the talc. Yeah. This is quite damp, this sponge, so I'll just hope that it works. Just going to come over that paper down onto the the uh, decorative paper pad paper yeah no i think that's fine now i want to know whether i should put some at the top yeah i'm just going to put the tiniest little bit at the top carrie says she remembers sitting in the bath trying to shrink her jeans yeah absolutely we did that in as hot a water as you could possibly bear 
Too hot. Oh. I always used to wear um, Wrangler jeans. The cool kids, I think, probably wore Levi's. I don't know, but I always wore Wranglers. And uh, yeah, I remember doing exactly that, Kerry. Exactly that. Right, so let me show you what I've done. I've got these copper spots stencil. Quite like them, actually. They're all right. So that's going to go like that. And then the daisy with the wee beastie is going to go there. Mike says wet pants are no good. <laughs> no, you're quite right, Mike. But this is what us girls used to do in order to catch the eye of you boys. I quite like that, to be honest. The the black looks really stark on the camera. It actually doesn't look quite that stark in reality. So I'm going to have a go at sticking this on and I'm going to use um, not. Oh, well, yeah, let's use PVA. Let's see if it works. So I'm just going for where the lace is a bit thicker. I think it should work. I mean, you get fabric PVA and stuff, but is that not just down the same rabbit warren? Of specialised glues that they charge more for. I suppose that's the difference between the sexes, really, isn't it? You spent all your time trying to get your pants on and we spent all this time trying to get them off. <laughs> you know, I was, uh, I was thinking when I said that about trying to attract the, the eye of the boys, Really, I think we were getting dressed up to impress our girlfriends more than that. It was, you know, it was so when we went out, they would be jealous of us. I think there was an element of that in it. I went to a boarding school. I've told you about that before. Um, so, you, you know, you really lived on top of each other. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking about the copper bit again. Sorry, guys. Now I've got that copper. I don't want it that size. That is for sure. So I'll cut a bit of that off. But I'm thinking that now I've got the addition of the copper stencil. That might look quite nice there. Yeah, I think so. So there's quite a lot going on in this, just this one little section, isn't there, really? So I'm going to stick this on. Well, let's try the PVA. Probably will come through because it's, this is Lame, real proper thin, thin fabric. Stuff that they make like dance costumes out of and stuff. I don't know how we ended up with it, actually. So when you made my pyjamas. Ah, that's what it was, yes. Just bring that down over there. See if that's going to stick. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it, if it sticks? Looks like it has. Okay, so on to our uh, wee beastie. Up a little bit, possibly. Yeah, about there. Okay. I mean, yeah, you could use die cuts. I just thought of that. Um, you know, die cut flowers. You don't have to have wee beasties on them at all. But I think it's quite nice to set yourself a challenge of making these sort of assemblages to go uh, as background. I, I quite like doing them, actually. You know, mixing fabric and different sorts of paper and, well, anything you can get your hands on. 
But you do start looking at things, oh, just a warning, you start looking at everything differently. <laughs> everything is, oh, I wonder if I could cut that up. And what would it look like? And some of the things that Mr. F fetches me home from car boot sales and charity shops and whatever, I think, what? He's, he's lost his marbles this time. But then he explains to me what he's got in his mind's eye. And I think, oh, well, yeah. Okay. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. It's got a little bit of... Oh, that wiped off very easily, that PVA. Honestly, let's hope this that this sticks long term, because if it does, I'm going to be so happy. I mean, why wouldn't you want to spend 23p on a jar bottle of glue as opposed to £4.50? I mean, that, that's stuck. It's stuck. So let's hope it stays stuck. Jim says bless you. Thank you. Laurie says bless you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know where it came from all of a sudden. And Junya says she, she sees journal covers and everything. She was changing the shower curtain the other day. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true, don't you, though? You look at things, you think, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a bit thick. Oh, no, but it'd make a nice cover. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You do. Right, so let's just trim off the excess here. Well, I can't really see that from over there. And the excess here, and I can't see that one from over there. I always think not when I'm rummaging through the ladies' clothes rails in the charity shops. <laughs> <laughs> you get some right strange looks, you know. I remember, do you remember when we were felting stuff and bought wool jumpers and shrunk them, put them in on hot in the washing machine? And I remember one day um, being in a shop and I bought uh, a size 8 jumper, but it was wool and it would felt really well. And uh, the woman, no, the, it was a man actually. And uh, you know, the way that they sort of read out the size to you to make sure you've got the one you want. And he said, um, he looked at the thing and he said, size eight. And then he looked at me and he said, size eight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't explain to him anything. I said, yes, that's right. <laughs> Probably thought I was a totally delusional woman. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just down on the edge of the lease there, just to stop it fraying, because that is one of my pet hates, frayed lace. I can't bear it. So that should stick. So there we have it. That, there's the back. What do you think? I think it's quite nice actually, I quite like it myself. It's probably a bit too thick for what I wanted, but everything's all stuck down well and we're okay. So now we've got this journaling card to make. And paper, what shall I use as a base? Well, let's get the book out again. Let's have a look through. There's that, which is the other side of what we've just used. But I'm not awfully keen on that. Um, and I, I want to save that. There's this, which is called... Um, I can't remember. What's that called again? Something plate. He's, he's not, checker. checker plate, yeah. Um, that one. This. This might be quite nice. It's got sort of coppery tones to it. Yeah, that's a that's a distinct possibility. That one. No, I'm going to tear this out because one of these one of these sides will do us nicely. Either this side or this side. Mm. So I need to make a um, journaling card to go in there. 
So bearing in mind that I've got double sided tape on here, that brings it in quarter of an inch top and bottom anyway. So don't, um, you know, just remember that when you're measuring for your journal card. So we'll take that into there and down to there. So I'd say about seven and a half is where we want to be. Seven and a half by four and a half. Seven and a half by four and a half. See if I can remember that, eh? Seven and a half by four and a half. Seven and a half by four and a half. Seven and a half by four and a half. What are you doing? Seven and a half by four and a half. I remembered. <laughs> so I'm just going to square that up. And I'm going to cut it out with my knife in order to preserve the rest of the paper. Oh, come on. Where's my knife gone? It's always just here. Oh, and it is there. It's being hidden by a massive bone folder. Right, so take care if you're doing this, especially you, Shaz. In fact, Charles, don't do this until you've caught up with your sleep. So there we are. We've got this still beautifully intact piece of paper. We've got this, which is going to be our journaling card. Now, I can't make this too thick. I just absolutely can't. Otherwise, it's not going to fit in there. And I want to back it um, with coffee stained paper. So that's an interesting choice. Do I want that or that? I'm going to put some sort of wee beastie on it, but I'm going to glue it to within an inch of its life so it doesn't catch on the pocket when I put it in. That's probably more interesting, possibly the more interesting side. So I'm just going to put some paper down, a uh, wee beastie, and that's it. Itchy nose again, every time. Uh, so what paper shall I use? I don't want to use um, the ones from the ring pull. That's quite nice. I've, I've already got a sheet of that somewhere, haven't I? This is, this is a joke. Here we are. One of these days I'll do a really organised one. My videos tend to be a bit more organised. Yeah, okay. I, I like this. I'm just going to cut similar sort of length to what I had before. I just have the urge to put it that way though. I don't want people reading what I've put down because that's not what it's about. Um, that there. And I don't want to introduce music paper now because I haven't got any uh, on the the assemblage in the back so mm, interesting I might just put a bit of this graph paper yeah that's not gonna detract anybody's eye attract anybody's eye should I say Just cut that off then and see how much of this we want. I'm feeling the need for a, a, a stencil coming upon me. Just warn you now. Um, sort of here somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to cut that off about there. Yeah. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Now we just need a creature. Oh, this is quite a small creature. He might do the job. He would do the job. Except he's hanging off there and I don't like that. I'm going to have to go back to the encyclopedia. Get a little bit of that. Hmm. 
Right, let's have a look then. It's kind of squarish, but I don't I don't mind that. That's okay. Okay, so he's already been inked around. First one to go down is this, um, which needs to be inked around. Yes. I don't think I'm going to stencil on this one. Right, so I can put some glue on that and get it stuck down. Well, I've still got the other pieces in place, so I can remember where it goes. I was watching Artie Mays the other day, and she does it, and I know a lot of other people do. When you get your sort of uh, collage, assemblage, or whatever sorted, just take a quick photo with your, with your phone, um, and then you'll remember where things go. Because, oh, I just knocked everything for six anyway. Because um, you just forget. You know, you have it looking perfect. <clears throat> you move it all to start gluing and then it's... Yeah, I haven't got a clue where anything was. I think that's right. It's probably nothing like what it was, but... So how's everyone getting on with the folios, those of you that um, are making them? I'm loving, I mean, I'm just absolutely loving the photos that you're sharing with the group. It's fabulous. Oh, while, while I remember, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to the people that have bought me a coffee via the buy me a coffee button. Um, I'm very grateful to you. As as you know, I keep telling you, anything that we get in, the sale of the ephemera that I'm making, the buy me a coffee, whatever, <clears throat> it goes straight back into the channel. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Sometimes it's things that you don't even see, you know, cables, lighting, um, <laughs> really boring stuff uh, that Mr. F needs to keep us afloat and live so i really do appreciate your help thank you very much the button is on the top of my youtube channel my main page sort of thing um or i'll pop a link on the facebook group after i've done this live just in case there's any of you that that want to donate and can't find where you're supposed to donate um it's not mandatory by any means you don't have to do it uh this will continue anyway um, it just makes it a bit easier because it's it's an expensive business. You all know that because we, you know, we all buy the same sort of stuff. So thank you very much. That's what I was trying to say. So that's going to go that way, and it's going to go back there. Yes, lovely. So I'm just using away at my PBA and we'll see what happens. Right. So that's all that on. I do think it will dry shiny if I don't mop up any spillages. So I'm quite keen to to mop up. It's also wanting to buckle this paper. That's interesting to know. I mean, we're going to be all right because we're backing it with coffee stained um, paper. But look, it's trying to it's trying to buckle it. Hmm. Who knew? So that's going to go there like that. And I want to have a little copper stencil down here so I'm assuming my copper is still workable yep
The sponge is a bit wet, but we're all right, I think. Yeah, that, that's, that's nice. That just finishes it off nicely. So let's get this stuck on. I'm just going to dry that, um, those, that stencil because there was a lot of water in the sponge and it's going to run if I don't. Lovely. I must say, I really, really like that Tim Holtz uh, hair dryer, for want of a better word. It really works. It gets really hot. It's just it doesn't blow your stuff around uh, like the the embossing gun that I used to use. It's. Uh, and it gets hot very, very quickly. You don't have to wait ages for it to warm up. So that was one of my better purchases, I think. Lovely. He's standing up oh, well he's not in my world he's in that position make sure everything's stuck down because he's going to go in and out of pockets Jenny wants to know if she should add, add the air dryer to her list yeah it's it I'm really pleased with it I did think that it was just going to be um well just another hot air tool really but it's much it, it's just better it's much better <coughs> excuse me right so that's our journaling card i've just missed a little bit there which would just get pulled off as it goes in and out the pocket so be careful that you have got everything uh, really firmly stuck down. So I'm going to back that onto a piece of coffee stained uh, paper. This is 90 GSM uh, copier paper and it is darker than the stuff we usually use and it's got this sort of pattern on there. That's because we dry them, well we, Mr. F dries them on on a towel and you get this texture. So I think I'm going to utilize that and stick it to this side and for that I'm going to use my collal because it's a big area and see if we can flatten this out I mean most things when you glue them want to bend like a banana dare I say that word while Bobby's in the house <gasps> he's been really quiet this morning he's just been in his bed at the moment he's looking out the window spends hours looking out that window and there's never anything to see and then of course when he sees the collie and the man walking the collie he's absolutely beside himself right there we go let's get this stuck down i'm just going to stay away from that very edge because it's a bit crinkly I mean, it would flatten, but why take the the chance? Right, so I've got some some seepage. It doesn't really matter because it's going onto waste paper, but. I bet you all think I've lost the plot, don't you, doing beasties? 
I don't even really know why I'm doing it. Just I had that book. And when we did Mr. Green, I did a grunge page with Beasties and I, I actually really liked it. Um, and I enjoyed doing it. So, so there we are. That's that. Let's cut this out. And I think it's going to have to go under a book or something to be squashed flat because it looks... Like I say, anything when you glue it, it, it gets a little bit bold out of shape. But I guess most of you will be more interested in the Edith version of this. So will I, because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with it yet. <laughs> but you can't go wrong with Edith, can you? You just, well, I don't think you can. If you can, watch this space. Right, there we go. I'm not saving those scraps. Um, I'm going to chunk the corners off and uh, ink it. Starting to look like a journaling card, I think. Journaling on the back, a bit of a clue. So once again, I want this nice thick band of black around it. I'd be really interested to see your versions of this sort of thing. If indeed any of you want to take the challenge. <laughs> Because some people, I think, automatically tend towards grunge. They like, you know, they like using walnut stain and ex ground espresso and all the dark Tim Holtz inks. Whereas I, I don't. I don't think I'm naturally that sort of person. I'm. I like the pretties. I'm all about the flowers. Um. Okay. So it's a bit of a kind of it, it's it's a little bit difficult for me let's say to grunge things up because it just doesn't come naturally to me which is why this is going to have copper metallic and stuff like that in it it's going to be a boho grungy type thing Right, because I like the stencil so much, I'm going to put one on the back here. I mean, I often do that with journal tags and stuff, but never in black. So let's have a go. do you think <gasps> I never know when to stop you're quite right <laughs> whoever's thinking that you're quite right yeah there we go that looks pretty doesn't it well pretty in a grunge type way okay so there's our journaling card and I will squish that uh, under a book or something a big heavy book and check that everything's stuck and that will go in there in the fullness of time. Oh, yes, it will. Go on, go on, go on. It will. Yeah. So that's what we're going to see. So that's not exactly riveting, is it? That, that portion of our uh, journaling card, which I didn't think about. I did not think about that. But I think it's okay. I'm not going to put a tab on it or anything. No, 
that, I think that's I think that'll be fine that'll be okay right so I'll leave that because it needs squishing so what can we do next well we could do this uh, front flap I guess Um, what's this piece here? That's the front. Oh no, I better not do that. Um, that just gets a plain piece of paper put on it, doesn't it? But it needs a magnet. Okay, let's just do the front flap then. So, once again, let's go back to the book. I've got this, which is what we've just used for that journaling card. Which was this. It turned out quite nicely, really. Um, so yeah, I could put that down there. Yeah, that's a definite possibility. Let's just have, oh, look at that. Oh, oh. When I was doing my degree, we um, were after some rusted fabric. So I think we'd bought a whole bolt, hadn't we, of cotton... Uh, a bit thinner than calico, just like white cotton to dye and stuff like that. Because uh, I used to dye loads of stuff. And uh, we decided that we wanted, well, I decided really, I wanted some rusty fabric. But we, I mean, we just don't have anything rusty. <laughs> so um, we got in the car and went around and we found this sort of broken down machinery at the side in the corner of a farmer's field. What are you doing? For some reason you seem to have disappeared. Oh, fair enough. Who needs me anyway? Um, there you go. Oh, hello. Don't know how long you've been gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we found this um, derelict machinery in, in, in a farmer's field and we thought, well, he's never looked the side that's on for 40 years, I bet you, you know. Um, so we got out with our bits of <laughs> bits of fabric, and we were winding it round the, you know, the bars and the I don't know what what you call these things, and then we were tying it on with string and whatever. And great job done. It rained, which is even better. We sprayed it with salty water, fabulous. And we left it for about three weeks or something. And went back for it, and wouldn't you know it? The day we went back, we were just unwrapping all our stuff when the farmer turned up I mean what are the chances anyway he asked us well he didn't ask us he just stood there very quizzically <laughs> and we said oh um sorry uh we were just trying to make some fabric rusty and the expression on his face like you know right they've let you out the, they've let you out it's a day pass I can see that and uh he kind of said in broad Northumbrian, well, what, you know, what, why? What, what are you doing with it? <laughs> oh, I told him I was doing an art degree and that seemed to please, <laughs> please him. Oh, dear me, the things we've done, honestly, i mad. Well, I love that. I love that page, but I love that page even more. So I'm not going to use either. I'm going to hoard them. <laughs> um... I quite like that colour on there, just the same as that one and that one. don't like the back of that too much, it's a bit dull. I'm back to more of this but different checker plate, which has got... No, we're into the greys now. All the remaining ones are grey. And they'll come in if I ever do a grey one, but they're no good for now. Shall I just use... I'll just use the piece I had out. I'm just, just trying to make life, life difficult for myself. So, I can get it out of this piece here, definitely. So let's just, let's just take some measurements, shall we? I need it to be, well that's uh, uh, two and a quarter inches. This is very tight to there, so I'm going to do it at, yeah, I think two, two inches, and it will be the same height as this whatever that was eight and a quarter so two by eight and a quarter but if I did it four by eight and a quarter I'd have a piece for the inside flap as well wouldn't I have a piece for here that's thinking guys that's thinking 
Uh, so four by eight and a quarter is what I'd really like in an ideal world. <laughs> I can't work it out. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's wrong with me. Four by eight and a quarter. And it... <laughs> okay. I'm unsure what I'm doing, how to do this. I don't know why. Seem to have come over really stupid. Um, one, two, three, four. So I need that there, and that at eight and a quarter. This is ludicrous. When you suddenly can't count. Right. So that's one, two, three, four, definitely, and that's eight and a quarter. Okay. So get the knife again. Cut that out. There we go. So we've still got a little bit of that left. Well, quite a bit of it. So I need the, I need uh, two of these at two inches out of here. So I'll just uh, do those now while I'm here. There we go. Right, let's hope I measured that correctly because it didn't seem to be going smoothly. So I'm going to do this bit. It's going to go there. Yes, that looks lovely. Lovely. Um, so I just want to round the corners off to match the corners of the file folder. Ink around it. quite good progress today I think. Have we lost loads of viewers because people don't like bugs? <laughs> There's a few that don't like bugs. Well I'll carry on with it largely myself so you don't have to don't have to watch the bugs too much. I just think it's quite an interesting process the the grunge element of it. So that's inked around, just needs to get stuck on. I'm just going to use Colal. Yeah, I don't think I could watch it if it was snakes. I'd, I'd struggle. Mr. F doesn't like spiders, do you, Mr. F? I'm not over keen. By that he means he comes downstairs and he says there's a spider in the bath. Can you remove it? Well, it's your job. It's my job. I am the chief spider remover. Anything more than four legs you get rid of and anything less than two I get rid of. That's yeah. the way it is. Yeah, works fine for us, doesn't it? Not that there are too many things around here with less than two legs. Well, not in the hat. God, shouldn't have said that. Tempting fate here. But it's not like living in Australia, where there is a danger of snakes being in your house and in your car and stuff all my life. Okay. So that's that. Yeah, that's okay. So let, let's stick the other bit on whilst we're here. So I just need to, there's no up and down to this paper, I don't think. It's just uh, an all over pattern.
I just think that you probably get fed up of watching me using the same old flowery kit time after time and I thought I would just bring something new to the party. So I brought the wee beasties. <laughs> Okay, there we are. I might just go around that once more and make it just a little bit darker. There we are. So I've got the magnet here. On, on this side it could just as easily have been on that side it doesn't really matter uh, it's just I thought that's the the top edge I'd leave it nice and flat and put the magnet underneath um, but it you know probably end up being decorated anyway so it won't be noticeable So what's the food on the naughty step today? I'm not sure that anybody's had any food today. Nobody's mentioned it anyway. Oh, They're blood. keeping it from me if they have. Yeah, well you even haven't even had your treat. It's true. Let's get this popped onto here then. There we go. Bernice has had a muffin, I think. Yes, she was saying before we started that uh, she would she'd put muffins in the oven, and she invited us all round to her house. Oh. But I can't get there. That's no good then, is it? Not in time for these muffins, anyway. That's just a tease. Yeah. Basically, yes. So there we go. That's that on nicely over that magnet. No problems with it. Because the card paper is thicker, it it just goes on a charm actually. So that's gonna end up like that, which means that we probably need some decoration on there. And we also probably need something on there for when you open it up. I mean, it's nice paper as it is, but probably could do with something. I don't know what, but I shall muse on it. And I think that, that about brings us to the end of today. We've made the pocket for the back. We've made the journaling card for the pocket at the back, which needs a good squishing down. Um, and I like those. Actually, to be honest, I think they're all right. And we've put the we've covered the front flap back and front. So we have made some progress. We definitely have. Um, oh, that's the back of that journaling card, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, that needs a good squish down. OK, I'll see you during the week when I will be doing the Edith version of this. Uh, they'll probably well, in fact, I'm pretty sure they'll all be videos. Uh, it, it's just quicker. I can crack on quicker um, a bit. Um, and on Tuesday, I'll be back live for the take five. Let's hope it's a better take five this week. Oh, I so struggled with last week's. But anyway, whatever the random thing <laughs> is, that's what I'll be doing the take five uh, using. So I'll see you then. Um, and hopefully you'll all be warm, well, safe and crafting. <laughs> so I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye. Take bye. care. Be safe. Be happy. Indeed. Bye. Bye. Bye.